This week, we've been taking a closer look at some of the issues that will appear on Saturday or Saturday's ballot in Plaquemines Parish. Voters will weigh in on five separate tax millage proposals. Now, one sets aside millions of dollars a year to protect from hurricanes and flooding. Paul Murphy reports Plaquemines leaders say the measure is critical for a strong levy system. When you look at a map of Louisiana, Plaquemines Parish is the tip of the boot. It is always one of the parishes most prone to hurricanes and flooding. We've been preparing for seven storms that came our way this year. Uh, on one hit us, Zeta hit us, um, didn't do a lot of damage to our levees, but our levees are vulnerable. Plaquemines is the only coastal parish without a dedicated property tax for levees and flood control. Saturday, parish voters will decide whether to approve a new five mil tax to pay for hurricane protection and the maintenance and operation of nearly 500 miles of local and federal levees. Parish President Kurt Lapine says it's important to protect the levee system for families in Plaquemines and the greater New Orleans area. You know, we think of ourselves as the first line of defense. Um, and it's important because we have levees to the back of us and we have levees on river levees. The new millage would raise about $5 million a year and add about $200 to the average homeowner's tax bill. Yvette Hilton's home backs up to a levee in Bell Chase. Because we're always afraid of the water, which is obvious. Hilton says the parish needs a dedicated fund to keep her and her neighbors safe from storms and potential flooding. There's some things that I find that are money spent on that really we, we don't need as a parish. We definitely need levy protection. If approved by the voters, Plaquemines Parish leaders also hope to use some of the new tax money as matching funds to win both state and federal flood protection grants. In Bell Chase, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Also on the ballot in Plaquemines Parish, tax propositions to pay for emergency services, parks and recreation, mosquito control and senior centers.